from Captain Matthew C. Kemlek to Captain Zachary Bali Ta'an. The reviewing officer for today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Chris Mercado, the commander of the United Nations Command Security Battalion. The ceremony consists of the reading of the official orders and the passing of the unit guide on. In front of you today are the first sergeant, guide on, and soldiers of the UNC Honor Guard Company. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is First Sergeant Derek A. Beck. Please rise for the invocation given by Chaplain Kim, the United Nations Command Chaplain, and remain standing for the national anthems of the Republic of Korea and the United States of America. Please join me in prayer. Almighty God, knowing that our help comes from you and you alone, we look up to you and we give you thanks for the leadership and commitment that Captain Matthew Kamalak has demonstrated while leading the UNC Honor Guard Company. Guide him, direct him as he moves to new duties and challenges, instilling him the pride of his mission success. We ask for your continued blessing upon the new commander, Captain Zachary Valitan, that you have entrusted him with the great responsibilities, grant him wisdom to discern courage to stand firm on what is right, compassion to reflect your love and care, and humility that seeks your face. Grant all of us your grace so that we may set aside our selfish interest and to seek the welfare of others. Meet with us in this ceremony and increase our commitment to you and our homelands. We pray in your holy and mighty name. Amen. Please be seated. The United Nations Command Honor Guard Company is internationally recognized and has regular contingents in its formation assigned from multiple countries, including the Kingdom of Thailand, the Republic of the Philippines, and the United States of America. The company is comprised of the best service members from throughout their respective military services banded together as one unit 
under one flag, symbolizing the commitment of free nations to protect and preserve peace on the Korean Peninsula and defend democracy against tyranny and oppression. The company's motto, better than the best, is more than just a phrase. It defines a lifestyle choice exemplified by the long line of excellence that service members have invested into this company. The passing of the Gaidon is a time-honored tradition signifying the responsibility associated with the command. The history, tradition, and accomplishments of the Honor Guard are embodied in our organizational colors. With the transfer, that legacy is passed as a building block for future performance and achievement. These colors have served as a point around which soldiers of the organization rallied as they moved forward into the battle. Commanders come and go, but the colors live on. First Sergeant Beck, representing the backbone of the company, hands a guide on to the outgoing commander, Captain Kemlick, as his last responsibility in support of his command. The outgoing commander then passes the guide on to Lieutenant Colonel Mercado, signifying the return of the responsibility with which he was entrusted upon assuming command. Lieutenant Colonel Mercado then passes the guide on to the incoming commander, Captain Zachary Bali Ta'an, thus demonstrating his confidence and the commander's ability to shoulder the responsibility of command. By the authority of the Army Regulation 600-20, the undersigned assumes command of the United Nations Command Honor Guard, effective this 18th of May, 2023, signed Zachary Bali Tan, Captain Infantry Commanding. As his first act in command, Captain Bali Tan then returns the guide on to First Sergeant Beck, who entrusts the guide on to the company guide on bearer. Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Director of Operations, United Nations Command, Colonel Corvo. Major General Ebert, B. Jan Carey, Colonel Dio Codez, Rock Honor Guard, distinguished guest, member of UNC, friends of UNC Honor Guard and friend of UNC writ large, and most importantly, soldiers and leaders of the Honor Guard. Thank you for your presence of this change of command ceremony. It's a pleasure on behalf of G Major General Hibbert to state a few words on this crucial day for UNC Honor Guard. I will just simply highlight a couple points. First, this is a crucial day for the Honor Guard. Why? As you can see in the change of command brochure, the Honor Guard holds a long history of passing and command comes from that long lineage. It's a day of reflection and nostalgia for some and joy and anticipations for others. It's also a day of change. Today marks the first day of a realignment of command and control when the Honor Guard, where the Honor Guard will now be part of a bigger family within United Nation Command for its war fighting aspects. It will be under the eyesight and support of the United Nations Security Battalion Joint Security Area Commander. Chris, over to you to build the DNA and a fight tonight within their hearts. Second, farewell to Matthew. Matthew, I know this day holds a myriad of feelings for you. It is a culmination of almost two years' worth of you leading a team of both protocol and strategic within a strategic environment and within the realm also of ensuring the fighting ethos remaining within the company's heart. Thank you for your continuous focus, initiative, drive, and continuous positive approach to all your endeavors. You were able to press forward 
even when sometimes you had limited direction and guidance. You should be proud, best of luck in Germany, and don't be a stranger. Third, welcome to Zachary. Zachary, welcome home. Absorb all the moments of your command. <laughs> it goes super quick. Uh, listen to your leaders, build a team, create the synergy, keep the drive and the focus. You are now responsible for the team. And finally, to the honor guard, folks, as you move into capable hands of Zachary and Lieutenant Colonel Chris Mercado, welcome them, remain driven, uphold the fighting spirits, retain the honor under one flag. Ladies and gentlemen, United Nations Command Security Battalion, Joint Security Area Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Mercado. Good afternoon and welcome to all of our friends, family, and distinguished guests. Major General Hibbert, Brigadier General Carey, thank you for honoring Captain Kimelec and Captain Bali Ta'an with your presence and making this a very special day in their lives and careers. I'd like to begin first by recognizing First Sergeant Beck and the outstanding soldiers of the United Nations Command Honor Guard Company, defenders in name and deed. It's wonderful to see our Thai and Filipino comrades in arms standing shoulder to shoulder with our American soldiers in this outstanding unit. First Sergeant, NCOs make it happen in our Army, this battalion, and the Honor Guard Company. And I'm grateful for the work that you and your soldiers put into this ceremony to make it an outstanding event. Well done. Captain Kimelec, I offer you my sincere congratulations on your completion of a tough and meaningful command. You led your company through dozens, if not hundreds, of high-level ceremonial duties, including a repatriation of fallen American and Korean soldiers from the Korean War. You led your unit through a tough and realistic battle-focused training program to prepare your company for its wartime mission, and you demonstrated that your team is ready to fight tonight. I'd like to thank you for your service to this fantastic company and to your world-class soldiers. Your leadership of these talented warriors and the sacrifices that you've made on behalf of our unconquerable alliance shall never be forgotten. I've got no doubt that you're going to excel in your next role as the opposing force commander at the Joint Readiness Training Center. And I'm certain that you're gonna to prove to be an uncooperative and hard to kill adversary for all of our, preparing all of our units for their wartime mission. To Captain Balata'an, I'd like to congratulate you on this awesome responsibility and remind you that your first training meeting is next Tuesday. <laughs> this means that I need to see your training schedules out to T plus four by the end of the reception. <laughs> All jokes aside, Captain Balata'an, I'm proud, privileged, and honored to serve at your side, and I'm proud that we're working together with our newly established command relationship to help train your company, and I look forward to working with you and your soldiers every day as we train our units to be prepared to fight that uncooperative enemy at night an unfamiliar and unforgiving terrain and win. I'll remind you that command is not easy and that's not why we chose this profession. As a commander, you must remember that often the hardest choices require the strongest wills. Use tough, realistic, battle-focused training to prepare your people for the brutal hardships and privation of war. Make the most of every single moment and conquer something every day. And never forget that talent without training is nothing. So train your soldiers to be hard to kill. As I look out at your fantastic company, standing here today, I know you're ready for whatever comes. Thank you and best of luck in your command. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing commander of the UNC Honor Guard, Captain Matthew Kimlick. I want to start by thanking those who took the time to come out to my change of command. First, I want to thank Major General Hibbard, Brigadier General Carey, Colonel Owens, Colonel Corriveau, Colonel Hightower, Colonel Dioka Dez, Lieutenant Colonel Mercado, Lieutenant Colonel Pasillo, Sergeant Major Olson, Command Sergeant Major Hamilton, Dr. Bozak, 
and all directorates in attendance. I want to thank you not only for your attendance, but for generously sharing your time, for the mentorship you poured into me during my time in command, and for your steadfast support of these soldiers and the UNC Honor Guard Company. I want to give special thanks to Major General Hibbard, as well as Major General Retired Toy for allowing me to serve as the Honor Guard Company Commander. I want you to know that I cherished every moment I was trusted with responsibility. I'm thankful to my first sergeants. I've learned something different from each and every one of you. First Sergeant Beck, you are an outstanding teammate and a role model to our soldiers. I admire the carefully considered recommendations you make on all matters related to guaranteeing our mission success and the well-being of our soldiers. I'm excited for all that you and Captain Balitan will accomplish. To my XOs, past and present, First Lieutenant Kirsten Kwan and First Lieutenant Daniel Koh, I admire and appreciate the hard work you put into resourcing training and helping me deconflict busy ceremonial seasons with tactical training. Platoon leaders, Lieutenants Taylor Boschman, now Captain Boschman, Lieutenant Thomas Holliday, now Captain Holliday, I admire your determination, strong willpower, as well as the creativity you employ to develop our company's tactical mission. I am thankful for First Lieutenant Karen Kim and Staff Sergeant James McCann. I consider you both the epitome of selfless leadership, and I admire the energy and effort you put into developing our soldiers by encouraging to pursue their college education while still serving in the Army. I am thankful to all of our Korean civilian employees, to our linguist, Mrs. Crystal. We appreciate your warm personality every time we enter the training room. You are a force multiplier in our training room, but not only there translating documents, but helping us coordinate ceremonies with outside agencies. Our seamster, Mr. Kim, thank you for ensuring that our uniforms are always in top condition. And thank you to Mr. Yi, who happens to be the most efficient bus driver on the Korean Peninsula. You think I'm kidding, but just today, just today, Mr. Yi took our team up to Gapyong to do a commemoration ceremony attended by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada. Mr. Yi made it back with First Sergeant, he's here, and the incoming commander also here, proof. <laughs> In time for this change of command ceremony. And most impressively, Mr. Yi did not violate any Korean traffic laws. Let Mr. Yi be an example of the everyday heroics of our Honor Guard soldiers and team members you are all truly better than the best. Let us thank the Rock Honor Guard for attending. And uh, this is a meaningful year because they have relocated from Yongsan and joined us here on Camp Humphreys. We are excited for what the future holds for our combined ceremonial and tactical training. Thank you to our defense attaches from the Republic of the Philippines and the Kingdom of Thailand. Thank you for sending us your best soldiers. Because of you, our company is strong not only in its diversity, but in its experience, technical skill, and character that is unteachable. You uplift our company in every way. Thank you to the 8th Army Band. When we march on to Barker Field together, you hear the sound of their instruments, and we know when that happens we are in good company and ready to represent. Most importantly, I want to thank the soldiers of the Honor Guard Company. <clears throat> Always for always rising to the occasion and represent, representing our unit in extraordinary ways. When I first arrived to Korea, I had not yet heard of the UNC Honor Guard Company, but while doing my research, I learned of the ceremonial and tactical mission, and I was excited, fascinated, by the opportunity and responsibility of leading soldiers in support of a four-star commander. And I was told about the critical importance of this position. Immediately after taking command, I soon learned what critical entailed. Our team had two weeks to prepare for the UNC, CFC, USFK commander's change of command ceremony between General Abrams and General LaCamera. Three months later, I was yet again reminded what critical meant when Major General Toy was walking into this drill hall toward my office. I thought to myself, this is either really good or this is really bad. 
Uh, he let me know at that time that there was a U.S. and Korean repatriation ceremony to be held in Hawaii, attended by General Camera and then President Moon Jae-in of South Korea. Both of these ceremonies were resounding successes, but that success was only possible because of the less visible hard work of our soldiers. It was the Honor Guard soldier who tirelessly rehearsed in the tropical humidity of Hawaii during the summer months here and in, here in Korea. It is the Honor Guard soldier who carefully conducts uniform inspections, corrects deficiencies, and quite often translates commands and facing movements from Korean into English until, when we do full ceremonies, five platoons, along with the 8th Army Band, can flawlessly execute without making the slightest mistake. All of this occurs before the cameras start rolling. And we can thank the Honor Guard soldiers for unfailingly making it happen. This is the critical aspect of our mission. These critical tasks are often done simultaneously. I cannot be any one place, multiple places at once, and neither can First Sergeant. These are the efforts these efforts of our soldiers are what allow the company to win on multiple fronts while providing positive representation for United Nations Command, Combined Forces Command, and United States Forces Korea. And this work is all done behind the scenes. And I'm proud of the work that you've done. But my time as your commander has come to an end. I've enjoyed getting to know Captain Bali Tan, and I know that he is the perfect fit to command this company. Captain Bali Tan, Working with First Sergeant Beck, your team will lead this company forward undaunted by any challenge and to even greater heights, better than the best. Defender Six signing off. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the UNC Honor Guard, Captain Zachary Bali Ta'an. Major General Hilbert, Brigadier General Carey, fellow UNC directorates, distinguished guests, family, and friends. Thank you for coming today to celebrate Captain Kamlik's successful past two years of command and to welcome me into the UNC Honor Guard. I'm truly blessed to have had great leaders, mentors, and peers throughout my Army career. And I'd like to personally thank my Army home for the past year, the 8th Army G33 team. And also to my home outside of work, Hanam Gyoe Ansong Chakyo. Tumor Kapsamda. I'm honored to join the ranks of many distinguished soldiers who have served in the UNC Honor Guard, past and present, across every single, every sending state from the Kingdom of Thailand. Republic of Philippines, United States of America. I look forward to growing with each member of this team and improving upon the foundation built by the commanders and soldiers before me. I will carry on this legacy and press onward to defend peace and security in Korea. I greatly appreciate the opportunity to lead and serve in this company. Everyone here deserves my best, and better than my best is what I will give as the UNC Honor Guard company commander. Thank you. Kapkun Grab, Salamat Bo, Kapsamda. Defender Six signing on, better than the best. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the Army song.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our change of command ceremony. You're all invited to attend Captain Bali Tan's welcomes, welcome reception in the back of the drill hall. The honor guard will remain in place for photo opportunities. Thank you for attending, and as always, better than best. <laughs>